I'm Mari Silby, Senior Editor with Light Reading, and I'm talking here um, with Dave Fellows of Layer 3 TV and T-Mobile, and also Engineering Committee Chair for the SCTE ISBE. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. You're welcome. We are now about halfway through uh, to Energy 2020, which is the program we're talking about. What do you see as the importance of standards and best practices uh, going forward as we're getting closer to that 2020 end date? Well, as you say, we're about halfway through the Energy 2020 program, and the first uh, area of focus was on standards. Uh, and as we, you know, now we've had time to go look at existing standards, look at uh, other groups that are developing standards in the energy area. And we're moving into best practices now, so capturing sort of the wisdom of all the cable operators, but also the wisdom of, of the world. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to move probably in the last year of 2020 into training. So we'll take these standards, we'll make them real through practices, and then we'll train people so that it, it really gets out into the field. Okay. And what about documentation? What are the opportunities for, for further documentation just to support the cause as you move forward? Well, uh, one area that I'll, I'll mention uh, to start with is the area the cable industry spends the most money, and that's out in the outside plant, mm -hmm. the access network. And so we've got a group doing access network efficiency. Uh, we've looked at standards there. We've looked at uh, ways of decreasing uh, energy consumption. Um, because not only do we spend the most amount of money in the outside plant, it's only getting worse. Right. We're trying to get wider bandwidths, and we're trying to maintain the same spacing between amplifiers. That means there's more loss in the coax. You need to blast uh, energy at higher yeah. powers. And uh, in addition to that sort of the standard problem we faced for decades, in addition to that, now we've got Wi-Fi hotspots out mm -hmm. there. We've got low WAN. We've got microcells. We've got <laughs> cellular backhaul. We've got 5G on the right. on the horizon. So the outside plant is just uh, a great area to tackle. Now there, we did bipolar transistors, became gallium arsenide, right. became gallium nitrite. Now the good thing about gallium nitrite is much wider uh, voltage swing, so we can blast that power in, okay. and it's much more efficient, more efficient than even uh, uh, gallium arsenide. Now, given all of that, we've just, at the engineering committee, uh, we're voting on, but we will approve the development of an operational practice for outside plant. Okay. So here's what you should do. You know, run your voltages at 90 volts, not 60 volts, and here's the, uh, the benefit of that, and, and so forth. So Excellent. We're, we're right on the cusp of that. Good, so there'll almost be a checklist for, for cable operators. That's right. Okay. The, the, again, the, collective wisdom of the industry right. uh, written down. What, um, what other hot spots would you see uh, that are necessary to pay attention to, again, as we're, we're looking at towards the end of this timeline here? What are the, the hot topic issues? Well, you know, I mentioned access network efficiency. Mm -hmm. The next place we're looking at is facilities climate management. Okay. So our head ends, which used to be in just shelters, not air conditioned, are now really data centers. And so we spend as much money air conditioning the data center as we do running the electronics inside right. the data center. So we're looking at best practices there. You know, the first thing you do is hot aisles, cold aisles, hot aisles, cold aisles. But now we're moving beyond that to, to even better practices. Uh, next area is uh, APSIS, right. uh, the Adaptive Power uh, System Interface Specification. And there we've announced, uh, uh, we've got the standard in place. We're relying on other standards and developing that one. Um, and we've announced a, a trial, a test, a contest. Who can come up with the best uh, application of uh, APSIS? And we'll be handing out prizes. Um, next area, alternative energy. Hmm. Uh, looking at other sources than just plugging into the, uh, the grid and uh, at T-Mobile, you mentioned I was uh, part of T-Mobile now, uh, we've joined RE100, which means we've committed by the year 2021 mm -hmm. to be 100% renewable energy. Wow. We've already bought into an energy a wind farm in Kansas, a wind farm in Oklahoma. So 60% of T-Mobile is now running off of renewable energy. It'll be 100% in another three years. And Layer 3 TV or the, the entertainment, uh, the home and entertainment division will be part of that commitment. Um, 
Then uh, beyond that, we've got um, energy and operations, and uh, um, that's just sort of everything else. Ongoing, uh, right. Everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Which operations continually evolve based on the, the demands of the customers right. and the demands of the network evolution. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much. There's a lot to work on. Appreciate you joining us. You're welcome. Thank you.